Hi, I'm Tom Oliver. Welcome to the Elephant Nature Park. More than 30 elephants call the Elephant Nature Park home. And these wonderful creatures come from such diverse places as tourist and trekking mm -hmm. companies, street begging, the circus, illegal logging, forced breeding, and other such places where they face abuse at the hands of humans. The hidden truth behind these elephant shows is the fact that this is not a natural act of an elephant. We have just arrived at the elephant sanctuary. Look at that, I'm surrounded by elephants. We chose this particular park, Elephant Nature Park, because first of all, it's free for Thai visitors, which is great for AK. And that's to encourage Thai people to get kind of properly educated about the treatment of elephants, to kind of stop the spread of the abuse and um, circus shows and that sort of thing. And secondly, because this place specifically is like a rescue sanctuary where they take in elephants who have been from the circus or from the tourism or logging industry and they rehabilitate and rescue them. So this place is about an hour's, hour's drive north of Chiang Mai. They picked us up in a minibus and drove us here. If you are coming to Chiang Mai, elephants is one of the biggest reasons that people come to visit here to see and interact with them. And a lot of the different companies, that they're, they're advertised everywhere and they all say lots of different stuff. No riding, no hooks, no chains. You do have to be a little bit careful about which one you choose because some that say no hook and no chain will still ride. Some that say no riding, you'll still see elephant painting and on the way up they actually showed us a video of uh, the way that elephants get treated when they do any kind of tricks or any kind of unnatural behaviour such as painting and it's all using some kind of pain or some kind of abuse to get the elephant to act a certain way. In 2011 when there was the big tsunami, a lot of Thailand was very very flooded and homes were abandoned including pets. So this place also rescues hundreds and hundreds of cats and dogs who no longer have owners and may have been injured and they give them a new home and a place to live and make them happy. Little happy kitty. And this is where all the elephant's food is prepared. As you can see, there is tons and tons and tons of bananas. I imagine all the elephants here go through a stack load of these every day. On the way up we learn about how elephants are trained and basically they're captured when they're babies and separated from their parents and they chain them up in a really really tiny place um, so they basically can't move at all and essentially they just torture them until they break their spirit until they have nothing left to live for and they have no hope and they have to be watched all the time because they will try and kill themselves by stepping on their trunk which is really really sad after they feel completely broken and they have no spirit left that's when they can start to be trained and learn the commands for performing never to do broken spirit anymore. He, she thinks you are like elephant trying to play hard with you. <laughs> For Asia elephant, just the boy or the male only have the ivory and grow up every year until they die. But the female don't have. The both of them, we rescued them from uh, illegal locking. Illegal locking, not in Thailand, but a lot in Burma. <laughs> she blind from slingshot. Oh. Mm. You see, that's why the head of her different another elephant. Like a big scar, right? Mm. She from illegal locking also. She used the head and the truck to up the big lock in the jungle. Yeah. So when you touch the elephant, <coughs> I recommend you shoulder only. Some elephants, 
some ear and uh, in front of the trunk. This one from Sunburn. We just had a fantastic morning hanging out with the elephants, saying hey, giving them some feeding time, and just chilling and taking pictures with them. Such beautiful creatures. Um, so we're just heading inside now to go get some lunch, and then more elephants in the afternoon. There is a huge buffet with about 30 different dishes, um, so naturally I have a mountain of food. I'm absolutely starving. Hello. Hi. This ele elephant was rescued from a trap, so he's got his leg all bandaged up because the wound is still healing. So this big girl here um, had her foot injured by a landmine, so there's hardly any of it left and she's still being treated with antibiotics and she can't walk too well, she's very slow. How did she break her hip? The big truck hit her. Oh. That's why she had this one booby, you see? Yeah. When I was looking up things to do in Chiang Mai, um, elephant shows and elephant trekking and you know seeing elephants paint and stuff like that, it comes up all the time um, because they're the companies that have the most money so they can afford the advertising and they get the most exposure. But it's really important to just go and see the elephants in an ethical and a humane way. So guys, we've had a phenomenal day at the Elephant Nature Park. Um, if you get a chance to come here, I would thoroughly recommend it. I hope you've enjoyed seeing and learning about the elephants as much as I have, because it has been truly spectacular. If you did like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment, share, subscribe, and also find me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, all over the place. I will see you again soon for another vlog. Goodbye.